Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Hello everyone. Welcome to our channel Research and Analysis. In this video, I'm going to discuss how to use Google Scholar for academic research. This video is for beginners who do not have uh, much knowledge about the research process and who have just started their research journey and they want to have the basic understanding of Google Scholar and how to use it for academic research. You can simply write in the Google Google scholar and simply search and this is the first website which you will open and it will take you to on this website scholar.google.com so in fact you can open this website of google scholar by writing the address scholar.google.com so this website is very helpful uh, if you want to uh, read the relevant articles about your topic if you want to uh, want to find out the research gap if you want to uh, to write the citation in IPA or in a specific format for all these uh, things you can use Google Scholar for example if you want to search the articles related to a specific topic for example we are considering a topic the impact of working environment on job satisfaction so this is what we can write the keywords here working environment and job satisfaction so we will simply search and it will provide us all the articles that are relevant with working environment and job satisfaction here the important tip which I want to share if you want those articles that must contain working environment as a keyword and job satisfaction what you can do simply uh, put the keywords in the inverted commas and in between write the end so now it will provide all those articles that contain both the working environment and job satisfaction but if you want those articles that may contain working environment or the job satisfaction but then you can write both keywords in inverted commas and in between you can write or in that way it will provide you those articles that may contain either the working environment or job satisfaction so in that way you can find out the related articles you can see on the right side opposite to these article details you can see it is written as PDF and the database name so these are the articles which you can download for free and their PDFs are available if you do not have access to any digital library or to any database from where you can download the articles so this could be a good strategy that you can download only those articles that uh, have a free access of PDF for example if I want to download this article I can simply click this one and open see this PDF is available and we can simply click this arrow to download this file if you want to restrict your search to a specific year or within a specific range then Google Scholar is very helpful just uh, see in the left on the left side you can see you can click any option for example if you want the articles uh, after 2013 you can simply click it and it will provide you all those articles that are published in 2023 and afterward but if you want to have if you want to search any articles that belong to a specific range for example if I'm interested to see the relevant articles that were published between 2021 to 2022 I can simply use this customer custom range option and then simply search see now it has provided us all those articles that were published between 2021 to 22 normally this kind of technique we use when we go for systematic literature review normally whenever we are looking for a search gap to proceed our research topic then normally we rely on uh, latest articles for example this is the best strategy if you can open those articles that are published in last one or two years then you can select these advanced options google scholar is also very helpful in making the references or the uh, bibliography for example if you have borrowed 
some material from here to refresh it in your own words then you need to write the citation complete citation then simply you can go to this site option and from here you can select any of the referencing style for example if we are interested to write in a ap style we can simply copy it and paste it in our document google scholar is also helpful if we want to change any specific reference in a different format what we can do simply copy and paste in google scholar and it will provide you the article and as well as its citation for example if we want to uh, want to download any specific article which we find in another article we can copy the reference we can put it here and now we can download this complete article but we if we are only interested in the citation of this article as previously it was in another style but now we want to uh, want to write the citation in a chicago for instance where we can simply copy the style and we will paste it in our document uh, this is how you can use google scholar for your research i hope this video will be helpful thanks for watching